We sort of said from the beginning of Sunset Overdrive, what would happen if societal norms were stripped away? Would we become creative like Burning Man, or would we become something oppressive like Lord of the Flies? When Marcus and I were first working on our pitch for Sunset Overdrive, one of the things we focused on a lot was these different fashion trends and just people dressing in odd ways. We had a huge, huge collection of all these different ideas of like mods and rockers and just all kinds of crazy different fashion eras. And we handed those to Jacinda and, and thank goodness she pared them down to, to something reasonable and doable. We started taking all the fashion reference they gave us and separating them out into three different buckets. Mainstream fashion is basically anything that a normal person would wear. Street fashion is something that comes out of street culture, such as emo and goth. Costumes are something that someone from a particular cultural group might wear, or it's something you might even wear for Halloween. All the sunset vanity takes from one or more of these buckets, which makes them both relatable and understandable. Diversity was very important to me because it is all about player choice and being who you want to be. And I think it definitely makes our game stand apart from other games. I think one of the interesting things about Sunset Overdrive is that most of our concept artists are actually not from the United States. I think this will appeal to a lot of different people. My team takes concepts from Vasily, our concept uh, artist over in Russia. We wanted to embrace a bunch of different archetypes that you would see in pop culture and mash them together to create our own look. In Sunset Overdrive, we allow you to choose from many different archetypes in the game. That includes different races, different body types, big and small, and different genders. We have outfits that are meant to be together, and you can get them as presets in the game. You can combine all the different pieces to make exactly what you want. So if you get your Day of the Dead face paint, you can combine that with your wrestling pants, your chainmail shirt, and your cowboy boots. Every item that you unlock in the game will have Havoc physics applied to it as well. So when you're running around the world, we really want you to feel like it's alive. Clothes sort of provide people's most obvious identity and can even act as masks. So it was really important to, to me and Marcus that vanity stay as, as just a purely vanity element, that we didn't attach RPG stats or any other bonuses to it. And it was something that was a really big fight around the studio. Marcus and I just had to stand firm and say, you know, it's really important to, to this game that players be able to wear whatever they want to wear uh, to express themselves. I like the hairstyles, especially the creepy 80s metal band style. I just like the way it looks moving around when you're doing our traversal in Sunset City. I would say that my favorite of all time is that we can be a luchador given the right combination. I mean, any chance to actually be a luchador running around Sunset City is pretty amazing. One of my favorite vanity items is, is, is the bunny ears. It's so absurd and weird. It just feels good running around with, with tall bunny ears. I don't, I don't know why I don't wear them all the time. For items that I can't really believe we got in, we do have a physics-based kangaroo head strapped to your crotch and nothing else. Oh, the kangaroo cod piece. Early on when we were pitching the game, Drew had used in a reference that he would be wearing nothing but a kangaroo cod piece. We knew we wanted it to be really different and really stylized, and pretty out there. And it just seemed so absurd, but we started pitching it that way, and every pitch we did, we would talk about the kangaroo cod piece, and I think it was one of the first things you can, can look at or talk about and be like, now that is Sunset Overdrive. So after you've dressed up your character and you've got them looking the way you want, we've still got a ton of customization with the weapons, the traps, the amps, a lot of different things on the gameplay side. So thanks for coming to Comic-Con and, and checking Sunset Overdrive out. Hope you pick it up on October 28th and let your freak flag fly high. Xbox One, now starting at $399.